hey what's up you guys I hope y'all are having a great day or had a great day for me it is the end of my day I usually don't do uh, videos this late but I'm doing it nonetheless so that's awesome I want to talk about the International Day of Peace and this year it is September 21st so it is coming up here in a few days um, I went to the United Nations website to just look up some information about it that I could share with you guys. Apparently, this is the 25th anniversary of the Declaration and Program of Action on a Culture of Peace. If you want to um, look up more about it, just go to un.org, just like I did, and you can see everything that they have here in regards to it, the history of it, and blah, blah, blah. Um, one thing that stuck out to me was their definition of peace. It says that in that declaration, the United Nations most inclusive body recognized that peace is not only the absence of conflict, but also requires a positive, dynamic, participatory process where dialogue is encouraged and conflicts are solved in a spirit of mutual understanding and cooperation. I don't know about you guys, but whatever spirit they're serving, like I definitely don't want to serve. We know, according to Bible prophecy, that that true peace only comes by Jesus Christ and is only going to happen here in this world during the millennial kingdom when Jesus is ruling and reigning because our world only has corrupt men and we are corrupt sinful creatures as it is we need, we all need Jesus um, so how can corrupt people create a perfect peaceful peaceful world like that's just that's not going to happen um, and we know that according to Bible prophecy, that's not going to happen. The Antichrist will try to set up a peaceful world. There will be a covenant that will be confirmed for seven years, and this will be a false peace. And that reason for that covenant, that false peace, is only to put the Antichrist into power because Satan is going to possess him and rule the world as a little g-god of this world. That is what Satan wants. Um, and so we know that that's going to happen, but that's going to be a false peace that's going to happen. So the true peace is only going to come by Jesus. One of the other things mentioned here, it says that the UNESCO, the Constitution of the United Nations Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization, that's UNESCO, it's an acronym, um, starts with the notion that wars begin in the minds of men, so it is in the minds of men that the defenses of peace must be constructed. Like I mentioned, men are corrupt. That is our nature. We have a sinful nature, so why are we looking to men to solve these problems? We should be looking to God, the true God, the one and only true God. Um, and it is right, like, you know, minds of men, we're corrupt. But don't think that the minds of men are going to fix the problem. It's not. It's only God. Um, what else in here? There's, there's other things in here. Like I said, you guys can go read it. There's a lot listed out here that's very interesting. But the main point of this video is so that way you guys know that peace and safety and peace and security is being said over and over again. It has been said. Um, but we know, according to 1 Thessalonians 5.3, that when they say peace and security, then sudden destruction will come upon them as a woman in labor, right? So they've been saying peace and safety and peace and security, but things are ramping up, and we're seeing it a lot more and more. And like I said in my last video, with every passing day, we are closer to the rapture. It's the same thing with like peace and safety and peace and security. The more I hear it, the more I'm looking up. Um, so it's like a big alert, you know, like a red alert, like peace and safety, peace and security. So we, those who believe in Jesus, will not be here for the destruction that's going to come upon this world because we will be raptured out prior to the seven-year tribulation. However, when we hear these things now, we know the rapture must be very, very soon. So that's what I want to leave you guys with. I want to encourage you that the rapture is very soon. With everything we see going on in the world, we know that it's soon. But you guys, the rapture is imminent. It doesn't have to wait for anything. <laughs> you guys, it can happen at any time the rapture will happen. And those who believe in Jesus will be taken out of this world in the twinkling of an eye. Millions of people disappearing. 
So I encourage you, if you have not put your faith in Jesus today, please do so, like now. Um, you don't have time. You don't, you're not promised tomorrow. You're not promised your next breath. You don't know what's going to happen. Um, so please put your faith in Jesus. Um, obviously, I am just a vessel telling you about uh, Jesus. I am not forcing you to believe in him, as many people think Christians like to do. But um, there's that example of, you know, someone on the train tracks and there's a train coming. And if I have the ability to try to reach out and save you, then I'm going to try to do that. But obviously, it's not by my hand that I'm saving you, but it is by God's. It is only me my being used as a vessel to tell you, hey, a train's coming. Um, and it's up to you if you are going to take that step off the track and believe in Jesus. It's up to you. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. God bless you. I will see you in the clouds very soon. And it is a great day to be raptured.